My name is Orlando Usher. I'm based out of Atlanta, Georgia. Before Bookmore TV, I was struggling with uh, following the directions of the script. Um, my self tapes were, um, I had the attitude of, let's just get it done. Um, and that's not the attitude to have. Um, it was out of frustration, out of um, just let's hurry up and get it done. I got a deadline to meet. Um, but with Christine, everything is, is just take your time and I'm right here with you for what you need. And she walks you through everything that you possibly need to succeed. And my tapes are getting better every every uh, assignment she gives. And um, it's much worth it. <laughs> I feel much better about everything. With stage directions, um, <laughs> I had no freaking idea what I was doing. I'm gonna be honest. Um, <laughs> um, I mean, you know, when we see stuff like, I had one audition for uh, Ava DuVernay and I walked into, in, in the scene, I walked into, uh, uh, I think it was a, a bodega that was um, ramsacked. And I didn't know how to create my environment to make that happen in my self tape. But, you know, getting with Christine, she makes it look so easy to um <laughs> to create the environment and to follow the instructions and to use what you have to make the, the environment come to life and it gives you a better um uh, it equips you for a better performance so it's just you know she makes it so plain and simple <laughs> so when she says she's the um uh, the book the booking magnet she is so i mean i see why just diving in and just giving her just planting and giving you the intangibles that you need to succeed is um very much needed especially here in the southeast because most of our stuff here in the southeast is self-tape and it's very important to pick all of that stuff together so <laughs> hey she's she's everything that we need that you know actors need i feel like <laughs> uh christine's coaching style i can't lie i was kind of intimidated at first um just not by you know her uh well i can't say by her because she has this demeanor that it's not mean but she's gonna tell you straight up like if you send me junk i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna call you out um i'm gonna be net picky about stuff and when she said that i heard her say that um and like net picky when you hear the word net picky about certain things you be like oh lord i had a manager that, that way at work or you thinking there's somebody that's hovering over you and and just being net picky just for the hell of it but it's net picky in a very very loving way to make you better to to get you to that level so you can be successful and to get you to the next phase of your, of your career so give her a chance you know um, um um just defer and give her the the opportunity to teach you and be teachable um and she's uh, the, the time we've been together i just my tapes are awesome i mean <laughs> it's still room for improvement but my tapes are much much better and i feel much much better too bookmark tv is different from other classes because there's a hands-on and it's hands-on plus a magic touch and uh, a thing that Christine has. Some people, some coaches, some actors, it's just some people in general have it and she has it and that's patience. She has patience with people to make sure it's right because we all are in a hurry to get to where we're trying to go sometimes. So I feel like with Christine, it's just, she just takes the time to make sure it's right. And before you even go forward, sometimes she'll let, she'll say, hey, stop. What are you thinking right now? She just takes that necessary time to get you into a space, a headspace or a mindset to go forward. So a lot of teachers and coaches don't take that time to do that. And I, I feel like that's very important to make sure hey you okay you want to go through this you want to do this um and it's okay to feel like it's not good to do it sometimes so you know 
I'm very, very um, happy with her style. I love her style. Um, and I'm so glad I got her. <laughs> but um, she's she's very, very patient. And a lot of people don't have that. I was on the fence. I was looking at my finances. I text Christine. I said, hey, um, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pay this or pay that. But at the end of the day, you're investing in yourself. This is your career. If you really want it, you got to sacrifice. You got to, you know, go the extra mile and work hard. And whoever you pray to or, or believe in God or whatever, just, you know, proceed and go go with it. This is, this is your career. So it's very important to to see what's 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 important. Is it my career important or am I just am I a hobbyist? Is you know, you have to really narrow down what's important to understand like why am why am I straddling the fence? Or am I doing this just to be seen or am I doing this for the art? It's some real stuff that you really have to dig deep and pull out and be serious about it and that will that will ease up the burden of the money because if you really want this the money and stuff will come the way that it'll be a way for it to happen the universe has a funny way of, of making things manifest so you know um i ain't gonna lie <laughs> you know i thought i would be um in a situation where i'd be rubbing my rubbing thing coins together to try to make it happen but you know the money's there every time you know for me to invest in myself so and i'm getting the results that i want so don't be over or you know straddle the fence just jump over it and run to her she has all of the um the tools to help you succeed if you don't believe it just imdb or uh, instagram or, <laughs> or whatever see the you know the proof is in the pudding and you know she has students booking left and right so why not i mean give it a shot I don't think I, I'm not disappointed. You shouldn't be disappointed. So, yeah.